Hello, 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 and welcome to November Play 2021. Let me rephrase that. It's hashtag November Play 2021. My dear friend Rhonda decided to do this, and so she has incorporated a few other people to play along, and um, all of the all of the players are listed below along with their YouTube channels so that you can play along and watch along. We have a list of prompts and we have a list of ways to use the prompts. And she knows me well and she's like, use what you can and that kind of thing. And if you know me, you know, I'm not really good at you know, stay in between the lines kind of thing. So I'm just going to go with, over some of the prompts with you right now and some of the ideas. And from there, I'll show you what I came up with. And honestly, I just, just came up with it two days ago. So some of the prompts are home, family, small, light, love, parties, memories, Time, tree, star, laughter, snow, gift, ornament, vintage, numbers, service, cooking, cookies, traditions, baking, sharing, journaling, cozy, comfortable, brand new, Thanksgiving, gratitude, self-esteem, circles, painting, sewing, cabin, reflections, and neutrals. The concept of this um, whole month long thing is to play, but so many people do December dailies and this would be something to get you a little ahead for December. I don't do a December daily. I actually had to ask what it was. I don't journal like most people journal. I just play in my journals. And so that's kind of where we're going to go with this. So some of the ideas that she had, possible ideas to use in your November play, is prepare your journal for December daily. A journal cover, tags, journal pages, index cards, donate cards to a worthwhile facility, brown paper bags, envelope decorating, card making, decoupaging with napkins, glassine bags, use up scraps, clusters, and embellishments. Now this list is more me. But I'm hoping, hello Arlene, that some of my friends can take the, the list, and again, the list is below, and come up with ideas for me, you know, to, to change it and make it, you know, more me for what I'm wanting to do. But I'm going to show you what I have in mind. It just came to me, I had originally intended to make a journal specifically for this because I have some new ideas I want to try and some new things I want to play with. But then while we took a short little vacation over the long week, we took a long weekend, not that it was a long, a short vacation, but anyway, we took a long weekend and I took this with me to work at on in the motel room because working in a motel room to me is a whole vacation in itself. I don't need to go, go, go. I'm just happy to be in there where I can leave my mess, take a nap, and then get back up and go to my mess. I mean, just you know, it's just the same as home, but I don't have to clean up after myself. So I have this journal that I'd already done, and I love it. This is one of the few journals that I've done that I've decided, nope, not sharing it, not giving it away. It's mine. So see, I've already got some of the prompts in here. So working with like there's numbers and there's circles. And so some of these things come naturally for what I do. But with that being said, I'm just going to kind of give you a walkthrough of this and tell you what the direction I'm going to go. Our goal is to do at least one video a week for November and hopefully get some of you inspired to share your November, um, hashtag November Play 2021, 
yeah, by the end of this month, maybe I'll have that figured out. I'm not a big hashtag person. That's still kind of new to me. But I decided this needs to be finished. And this needs to be finished the way I want it to be finished. So this is my book so far. It's got seven signatures. Most of the pages are painting papers. There is a lot of the dyed Amy papers in here because I have a lot and I haven't used them. I have a lot of a lot of things and haven't used them. So this is going to be my I'm going to do it for me book. So, of course, we got the doodles. We got the watercolors. We got a little bit of collage and quotes and some tea dyed papers and I, this is going to give you a chance to see how I work in a real journal, how I bounce from page to page and how I come up with some of my ideas. I say that, but I don't really come up with them. They just happen. I just start gluing things down. I may have a stack of papers here, all torn up in little big pieces with no idea what I'm going to do with them. And I'll just put glue on it and then I'll flip until I find the right page. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I have, um, you know, I've got some things where I've made pockets. Again, there's some more numbers. Just little pieces of collage stuck here and there. I have a big stack of uh, stitched up papers that I've stuck in here and there. This is a painting paper that was done on a sticker and I just tore it. And that's how it tore. So that's where it went. And... Again, we got another pocket. There's some washi tape. I've stuck a few things here and there where I want them because I didn't have, I want to make this like a tuck, but I need a stapler. And I didn't have it when I was messing with it. So that's kind of where we're at right now is just um, some of the things that I've done in here. Just wanted you to get an idea for it. And I know that it's a big commitment for me to be able to do this for the whole month and it's really important. So I'm hoping I can do it and stick with it because um, I need some play time and November's my month. So, Hey, I might as well, you know, make the best of it. And this is really art is something that makes you breathe with a different kind of happiness. So I love that quote, but I think, um, you know, coming up with some of these ideas is going to be tough on some of these prompts. And some of them I'm probably going to, you know, go way out there with it because like light, it's got a couple different possibilities, you know, the light or it could be light colors and love could be love. It could be hearts. It could be something orange because I love orange. So, you know, um, some of these are kind of cool. Some of them are going to take some thought, but I'm going to try my hardest to use as many as I can and make this as um, fun as I can. And I just, I am really just going to play. To give you an idea of some of the things that I want to put in here is I taught myself ply split weaving. It's a glorified fancy way of doing kind of a friendship bracelet but it's still cool so i'm going to hopefully make a bookmark or something to to work into that i've also been playing with all right get ready for this one shrinky dinks yep yep but you know what they're not my childhood shrinky dinks these are some cool things and we're going to have a, a, a nice video for that one and we're going to play and we're going to mold them and we're going to make some really cool things and I'll show you some of the things I've already made, but I'm going to incorporate them into this journal. It will probably be a journal charm. It's just going to be fairly bulky, so it's going to have to be able to be taken off because there's nothing more uncomfortable than working in a journal you don't have room in. That's why I, I really like this style. I don't even remember where I've seen the idea, but I just did it and it lays flat and it's easy to use. And I've had a lot of people 
look at this and say, how did you do this? We will, we will try to make this journal again, not exactly this journal because this one's going to be mine, but I will show you how I bound this and put it all together. Um, because normally when I do a journal, I do start with the pages and then put them in the binding at another time after it's done. But this one, I just made the book and then I just, actually I was probably going to donate the book, but then I decided I liked it so much, I decided to keep it. What is the shrinky dink? Arlene asks. Shrink plastic, it's you buy the sheets and you draw on it or you cut out a shape and you can ink on it. You can use pastels, chalks, all kinds of different things, and then you shrink it. It shrinks down to, I want to say, close to 60 to 75% of its size. So, you know, if you want an inch charm, you need to make it, you know, fairly good size to start with. So it's really cool. But for today, I think that I will just pull out a little bit of paper and see what I can come up with in a page. Um, and I have just a stack of bits of papers. And I'm limiting this to just my favorite things. <laughs> it's easy to say, but I have a lot of favorite things. So now I could do something like this and just put that on there. And that's really pretty. It's going to be pretty when I go back through it and look at things. But it's, there's no, there's nothing to it. So it'll probably have to be cut up and torn apart, made into something else. So right now I'm just going to look through my stack. There is scrapbook paper. There is painting papers. Here's one of my little sewn together clusters of stuff. And I love having things sticking out the edges. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things. So, you know, maybe that, and I am being cautious. I'm, I am closing my book and seeing how far some of these things stick out because I don't want, you know, it to get all bent up either. So let's just start off like this. And I'm going to have that stuck on there. How do I want to adhere this? That's how I roll. I just think and I play. And I usually I just grab whatever's closest. I'm really good at grabbing whatever's closest. That's why my work never looks the same twice. So let's put a little bit of glue on here. I want this to stick out a little bit. Let's put it right here. It's going to go crazy with the glue. And let's use some washi tape. I got this big fat washi tape right here, which I just love because you can just use some of it and if it don't tear off right that's okay too because that's how i want to use it in in pieces because i like that look i think it's cool it's gonna kind of help that little piece stay on there a little better and Because I like the sloppy. So now I've kind of got a little tuck spot kind of thing here going on. Now when I use the wide washi tape, I know how well it holds. But the skinny doesn't always hold. So I usually re-glue it. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. 
just to make sure that stays. So I have that, of course, you know, when it comes to collages and stuff like that, I can't just glue it down. I got to do something else to it. As a very dear friend of mine says, I JP it up. So that's what I'm kind of going to do. And that's kind of how my November play is going to go. I'm just going to JP it up. So I like this little flower. And I'm going to put some glue on that. And let's stick that right there. So see, it's starting to look collagey now and more me. I will take my, one of my very favorite materials to use is my Stabilo pencil. And I'm just going to pick some spots to kind of do an outline. Use my watercolor brush, which is really close to empty, but, and I'm just going to, you know, wet that down, give it a little shadow a little grunge a little depth however you want to look at it kind of a little bit of both and i'll do that around this flower kind of thing and right here where the petal was torn off because it had some white in it i just kind of drew my petal back in I'll do that right here too and then just you know kind of mess it up it looks like it's all supposed to be that way and whether or not it is or not it's supposed to be that way in my mind it's supposed to be that way so it's all good so i have these they're kind of atc size already doesn't really go but it sort of don't look bad because there's a little bit of pink and so let's just um take a pink paint pen and get a little bit of pink. And this is kind of when I need to add a little color because of something else in there. I do this a lot. Now let's put a little pink there and then smear. A little pink and smear. And I am crazy about using pink, especially fluorescent pink and in any fluorescent colors. The worst part about that I have found is if I'm wanting to save copies to use in another time, fluorescent doesn't color copy as fluorescent. Sometimes you can get it to go pink, but you know, or the color it is, but it's the fluorescent gets lost. So that added a little bit of pink and we could use this as a journaling card, but we can't leave it by itself because well, we just can't do that. So let's just, let's do a little collage on this. And should have went and grabbed my stapler before I got started, because I like to staple a lot of things together. I'm just going to put a little ticket right here. And add a little section of some words from a magazine. And just kind of play around. Nothing fancy. Nothing has to match. Because in the long run, if it doesn't work and it doesn't look the way I want it to do, all I have to do is put something else over it. Or paint it. Or tear it up. Use it in something else. So I have three little pieces right there on there. Kind of adds to the collage. And let's just, let's take a white. What else do I need? I need a 
and try this other pink. That one didn't feel right. Let's add a little bit of the fluorescent yellow. Just add some colors. And just going to add a little bit of color. And then I blot it. Yes, I make a mess. But that's all good. I'm fine with that. And there's just something about that fluorescent pink that just makes me so happy. And I have no idea why. So I just added some extra little colors in there. And I don't want the white one yet. Let's, let's find a black marker. A lot of my paint pens are on their last legs, and I have new ones to replace them, but I'm making myself use them until they're gone. So I'm just going to add a little bit of doodling on some of these areas, kind of going over some of the lines that's there, adding new ones, just, just playing around. Because why? Because it's November play 2021 and we can play uh, I think I want to just kind of change it so it don't look so flowery and so now we've got a little bit of black on there now we'll put some white on there hi Tanya My lighting in here is really bad, so it's really hard for me to see. I think we might have actually hit the tail end of this one. Yeah, it's just light over there. I've learned to shake my pins with the lid on them. There's a reason for that. So... So I'm just going to add a little bit of white in some of these areas where there's some strong black colors because I love the black and white, how it pops. It just makes every color pop. So I'm happy with that. It's kind of thrown together. No rhyme, no reason. I'm going to take my Stabilo pencil and just add a little bit of black marks. Yeah, somewhere is this watercolor brush. Hi, Tammy. So I'm just going to grunge this up a little bit. Just by taking that Stabilo pencil and getting it wet and bleeding it out a little bit. So now it's kind of got its whole new look from this pretty little pinkish paper, which, what, did I pick up the only one like that one? It looks like it. So I have this little pinkish paper and just turned it into a fun little collage card I can stick right in there. So what did I use off the prompt list on this one? Let's just see without even looking. So um, I used, hmm. Mm -hmm. there is numbers and I sort of used journaling. You can journal on the back. Of course I use circles. There'll probably be circles always used. I love to use circles. There is some sewing. And, yep, I'm going to have to get creative with some of these prompts. So anybody that can read the prompts in the description below and let me know something, you know, that is more JP on the prompts, turn them into mine. I love a good challenge. So, yes, Tanya, you need to start 
crafting again. I feel like somewhat I've lost my mojo, but um, this November play 2021, I'm really going to make it work. And I'm going to play. I'm really, really, really going to play. Hi, Tina. Hopefully, I can say that I'll do it every day. But I figure if I just play and get some videos out for you, then that's all good. That's all good. So that was really simple. One thing else I, I do a lot when I do collage pages or just about anything. I love to doodle. I love to doodle. So do I want to do this one again? These are uh, on their last leg or they are already there. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. If you share any pictures on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, please please use the hashtag November Play 2021. That way we can all enjoy them. Well, I guess both of those are about dead. Time to grab the other box. What size do we have here? Okay, now it could be part of it is the paper. So I'm not throwing them away because I've glued on that a lot. So I'm going to do my doodle edges, which is just kind of a scribble. You know, I don't really pay any attention. Got to do some what looks like zigzag stitches and stitches that get caught in your sewing machine. Surely nobody else sews like that. Maybe it's just me. But, you know, when you get that little bundle of stitches, it's not supposed to be there. That's kind of, I'm really good at doodling it. So no wonder I can sew that way too. I just like that. I like the edged look. I do a lot of outlining on a lot of my collages and everything. So why shouldn't I outline my pages? And I think I'm going to take and just add a few more doodles and dots in here because all a doodle is, is a dots and straight lines. Or if you don't want to call it straight, they're just dots and lines because eventually that all turns into a doodle. So, you know what, I think, I really think I'm happy with that. It's just, it's nothing fancy, but that's what I want. I want this to be things I like, you know. So, so there's one page done and an explanation, and we've only been on 30 minutes. That's pretty good for me. But I've already, look at all that time and look at the mess I've already made. Is that not crazy? That's part of the reason probably I don't craft enough is because I do some things and then I have to move everything to figure out where I'm at and what I was doing. And see another circle. I just love circles. I share, I'll share. i share this page here real quick. This was one of them I did this weekend while we were gone. This is the Boneyard Cantina where I ate some really amazing fish tacos and carne asado tacos and listen to music it was really enjoyable and i just put down i printed this on my little um peri printer and this is the receipt i just liked it i thought it was cool somewhere in here before this is done i have a picture of billy the kid in the style of the day of the dead kind of thing and so when I get him printed, he's going in here because, you know, if you've watched me enough, you know, I really like Billy the Kid. So, but anyway, let's just see if we can't whip out one more quick little page and, and then it's, it's back to work, you know, that ugly four lettered word. And sometimes like this, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I did it. And is it good? Oh, uh, it's okay. But you know what? The thing is, all of it is, it's paper. If I don't like it, I can just cover it up. It's no big deal. So, and a lot of times when I craft, okay, we're going to go back to this circle. I'll take this circle and I'll lay it somewhere. And it's like it's auditioning 
And sometimes it finds its perfect place and sometimes it don't. That one's kind of a tuck. And you know what? I really like it on this color. So that's where it's going. And sometimes it pops right in place and sometimes it takes forever to find a home. But that's, I don't know. I like that challenge. I like that creativity that it, it brings and I want to go off to the edge a little bit. I don't want to be centered. Now, I already know where it's going with this. Isn't that crazy? You put one piece down and you just already have an idea. And I have no rhyme or reason. Exactly. But I know what I want to do. Somewhat. Just sort of, kind of. Hmm. That's a, kind of a crazy thing to think about is that you sit down to craft with very little scissors around. Luckily, they were just across the table. So we have that just because it was laying there and it jumped out, said it needed to be a part of this. So my whole idea just changed. <laughs> My intentions, my thought was I was going to stack circles up here and just make this a stack of circles. And I may still do that. But then this butterfly says, look at me, look at me. So I did. And I'm going to fussy cut this real quick. And see if I like it on there. And I do do most of my creating just on the spur of the moment. Occasionally there's a plan. And when there's a plan, it usually has been in my head long enough that it works. But I love the idea of just taking a piece of paper and making it work somewhere. And you don't have to finish a whole spread at one time. You can take your favorite stack of papers and start gluing them in. And then... You know, the next one you pick up doesn't match. Find another page where you're happy with it. And I do that most of the time. Yeah. I didn't get it completely cut out, I know. But I just wanted to make sure it was feeling it. And... Now, I would be doing a whole different art if I was doing this in my studio. I'm doing it at my dining room table because this is where I was sitting. And this is where everything got dropped when we got home yesterday. So, again, it's just do it like it happens. Hi, sis. So, I'm going to put this one right here. And this one barely fits on here so i am going to snip this little wing because i don't want it sticking it or maybe i do want it sticking out that way let's just see no it's got to be crooked if it's straight it's just not right it's got to be crooked so we'll just cut that off so voila so i have a butterfly on a rock no rhyme no reason but that's just how it turned out. And I like it. And I'm going to take this little piece right here that was left over. Huh, the name of this paper was Sassafras. And I'm going to put this right here so it looks like my little border just kind of goes on around. And there we go. Super simple. Did I cover any of the prompts? I kind of did because, oh, well, maybe I didn't. I thought life was on here. It's not, but that's okay. You know, um, I'm still, I'm still following along. I mean, I'm, I'm preparing a journal and I'm making journal pages and, and I'm playing. 
that's what's important. I'm playing. So what do I do next? Stabella pencil, which really needs sharpening, but we're going to use it dull. Get more ink, I guess. You can outline things. Now, I don't know if you can tell how sloppy I'm worrying about that. Yep. I don't care. I want the I want the little bit not perfectness. You know why? Because if you have to be perfect, then you're it's it's just too hard for me. I want to have fun, and I know I know that the paintbrush is still here. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I'm just gonna use my water brush and kind of smear out that Stabilo pencil. Which you can't really tell how much is coming shading or not because um, the painty papers, when they get wet, look really dark. Not painty papers, dyed papers. So there we go. Super simple, super easy. Let's add a little bit of outline. I'm going to go with a marker because I'm. When this paper's wet, I have to draw a little softer. That's a hard process. And I'm not even sure. There we go. Yeah, it's showing up. And if, if you are not got all the markers and everything to do that, that's cool. Take a pencil and even get scribbly with it around the edges. That gives you your depth and shadow that makes things pop up off the page like they're really supposed to be. And let's just, let's find our prompts real quick because I'm really, really trying hard to use these. So let's, what do you see when you see this? Give me some words. Okay. Reflections. So I'm going to get my little phone out and I'm going to go to Google. And I'm going to quotes with the word reflection. And then we'll look and see what it gives me. Of course, I don't have a lot of room, so I've got to look for a little quote. There we go. I'm happy with that. The state of your life is nothing more than a reflection of your state of mind. So let's just use that. And I'm just going to start. I've got to have better light here, guys. Ooh, I like those. I'm going to put those on there, too. And if y'all are a member of the uh, Stitch and Papers, Fabrics and More Facebook group, um, if you share pictures of things you've done in there, too, we will be doing a giveaway out of there. Okay, let's see if we can get this pinned to write. And I'm just going to write it. I'm not going to worry about fancy writing. I'm going to have a pretty good curtsy anyway. Got that from my mother. I always wanted to write just like my mother.
Yep, kind of ran out of room here. I wasn't paying as much attention as I should, but you know what? It is my book. And so the state of nature, the state of your life is nothing more than the reflection of your state of mind. And you know, it's okay that it goes kind of weird and twisted because it's, it's mine. I have that here in another page that I did. Um, and honestly, the lighting is bad enough and I really need new glasses, something fierce. But I have a quote here and I thought I was going to make it. I don't know what I thought that, be, but um, let's see. Let's see if I can read this for you. I don't have a group of my own, but I am a mod in the um, cloth paper, cloth paper scissors. Oh my goodness. Ditching papers, fabrics, and more. This is dear woman. Sometimes you'll just be a woman too strong, too much of something that makes you a man like less a man, which will start making you feel less of a woman. Biggest mistake you can make. Okay, I can't read it, and it's not making any sense, so I have no idea where I got that. But it does, I can read this part, because see, it went all the way down, and then I just started here. When this happens, I need you to understand you do not need a smaller crown. You need a man with bigger hands. So I may have to reread that and see if I can figure out what I wrote because it makes absolutely no sense right now. So now you know how I get my quotes, where I get my quotes, and how I do my collages. And so I think for now, I'm going to close on this one. And um, I hope to see you. I will be here at least once a week. But I'm going to really try to have more videos. I really want to fill this book. Stitching, paper, fabric, and more. If not, you can always send me a message on Facebook and I can send you the link if you can't find it. I have so many groups with working with the Disabled Artist Foundation that sometimes I, I forget things. <laughs> so I hope everyone takes the time to sit down and play. If not today, sometime this week and share with us what you've made. With that being said, I'm going to call it a day. Hopefully I can find my mouse. And everyone have a great evening. Bye-bye.